I'm Faith, and welcome back to Faith's Take on Gaming, where I play anything and everything that I find interesting. And welcome back to episode 7 of Fine Love or Die Trying, uh, one of my favorite games we've played so far on the channel of the, I don't know, maybe half a dozen, uh, where it's kind of like The Bachelor meets The Hunger Games. And in the last episode, we went on our, let's see, it was our two of our last second dates. We went with uh, Allie, we went sailing on a boat, which was really, really pretty, and we're making out with her already, which was the most, like, physically aggressive one of the girls had been by initiating it herself, and it was only on the second date, not the third, that kind of thing. Then we had uh, Violet, where we had a cookie dough war in the kitchen, uh, let her bake a bunch of fun treats with us. Violet seems like a nice, a much nicer, simpler girl than you'd think she'd be for being the rich one, you know? Uh, but that means today, we're gonna have our last second date with all these girls with Tara, which I am honestly kind of scared about because her first date was wacky in like a really weird way. Um, but we'll get to her. And hopefully something's gonna happen soon because we got, then we just got our third dates left and that's it. And something crazy happened the last time, so we're gonna get straight into this. I walked down to the kitchen where the girls were having breakfast. So how was the date? Yeah, tell us. Tara was furiously scribbling down notes with the title, War Plans, in bold. Oh, man. It was really quite nice. We actually made this cake and the cookies yesterday together, Seymour and I. I I hope you all enjoy it. Oh, okay, so she is serving them the cake. They're amazing, Violet. Thanks for making it for us. Thanks so much. They're so delicious. Tara scribbled, War of Attrition is likely not an option. What are you writing there, Tara? Nothing. Well, you're right in front of them, Tara. What do you expect them to say? So how come there's cookie batter everywhere? Oh, we didn't clean up. No, the, the brothers five did not clean up after us. Whoops. No matter where I look, I can see batter on every surface of the kitchen. It wasn't just the batter. Violet and I had Violet and I had knocked over quite a few things in our firefight, and they just left them there. Uh, that's. You sure it was just baking together? Ellie, you were making out with me already. Come on. Aw, I thought it was more than that. I, ch I charaded as if I was heartbroken. Oh, man. I gotta hand it to you, Violet. I didn't think you had it in you. Don't imply that, Allie. Stop it. <laughs> Allie, no! No, no! Oh, no. Like, don't... don't no, I... Mm. Don't imply we did things that we didn't, please. Wait, no, nothing like that happened. No, I would be so embarrassed. <laughs> Allie and I laughed and made finger guns at each other. Well, that alone is showing that despite me not answering any questions about who I feel closest to, it looks like it's making me feel closest to Allie. You know, which I guess it is a narrative story. Your choices really don't matter that much, I assume. But still... I don't get it. <laughs> That's because you're a good person, Huey. <laughs> uh, I think what Allie is trying to say is that Violet and Seymour... Allie stuffed a cookie into Scarlet's mouth before she could finish her sentence. It's funny that they're playing Yui off as the innocent one. When on her third date, it heavily implies that we went all the way. And not just making out. And if that's true, then why are they portraying it now as if she's like totally innocent and doesn't get it? You know, make Tara the, the virgin gamer girl or whatever, I guess. But it's like, Yui, it seems like she, of all of them, should understand what that meant. Weird. <laughs> wow, these cookies are pretty useful. You gotta teach me how to make these sometimes, Violet. It would be my pleasure, Allie. Ooh, teach me too. Why should Seymour have all the good stuff? Ah, uh, We spend the rest of the morning fooling around in the kitchen. Okay, let's get to it. Morning, Seymour. How'd you sleep? Mm. Oh, pretty well, considering how you edit the footage that keeps me alive. Drunk. That sounds like a win-win to me, if you ask me. Can you believe it? We're already on the sixth day of the show. Is it already? Time sure goes by fast. No kidding. Anyway, it's time to wrap up phase two. You just need to go on a second date with your last soulmate candidate. Shouldn't be too hard, no. Please don't jinx me. Yeah, Tara's was wacky the last time. Break a leg. Seriously, actually breaking a leg would be a lot better for you than messing up today's date. I thought she was going to say it would be good for ratings, but okay. Not helping, Cat. 
Time to get today's date started with none other than my third soulmate candidate, Tara. Last time, she almost gave herself brain damage with the VR headset and turned the Brothers 5 into, like, birds or whatever, so... I knock on the door to the game's room. Hey, Seymour, what's up? I thought, you che I thought I'd check in and see how you're doing with your game. Let me show you what I'm working on, then. Tara handed me her game device. Not all the art's ready yet, but I'm hoping it'll be done soon. It's a farming game! I had to ditch the pigeon dating idea after, well, finding out it was already done. So she didn't know about it? She just made that up in her head? Tara's weird, man. That's really a shame for the whole world, really. But in this game, you get to live in a village out in the country, make friends, raise crops. Is this like Stardew or is it a... Uh... Yeah, it's a village, so it's like Stardew or... um, What's Stardew based on? Harvest Moon? Oh, and decimate all of the invaders with your giant mecha pigeon death machine. So it's like a war farmville. And there's a million possible weapon combinations. And that sounds cool. That sounds different. I'm going to just be really nice. That sounds cool. I'd love to play it. I'm curious how come you decided to make a farming game. Um, good question. They've just got a special place in my heart. I used to just play these morning till night every day. You can probably tell I'm not really a go out and party kind of person. To be honest, I don't know enough people to go to parties anyway, but whatever. Sometimes it's more fun to do your own thing. Hey, it's your choice on how you spend your time. I feel like that second option could also be seen as being kind of negative. Like, well, it's your choice how you spend your time, but sometimes it's more fun to just do your own thing. We're going to go with that. Uh, sometimes it can be more fun to stay indoors and just do what you enjoy. That's how I feel about it. Enough talk. Try playing it. I want to see how you feel about it. All right, here we go. The title screen displayed with a click. Star Blue Valley! <laughs> oh my gosh. I love Star Blue Valley, man. I was a mecha pilot who got tired of his life in the mecha core and decided to move out to the country to become a farmer. I was a pretty good one at that. Every season I learned to plant, water, and harvest new kinds of crops. I wish we had just a little bit of like 8-bit pixel art or something. Just, just one screen of it would have been really cool. Tara would give me advice for farming in every season. The wiki. This is really funny. Her face was so close to mine, she'd watch my every move with a pensive expression. Farming and fishing felt great, but fishing was almost impossible to do at first. Everyone else hates Stardew fishing. I like it. Sometimes it's a little time consuming, but I do like it. The mecha parts of the game felt incredible. I do love the battle stuff and Stardew, all the cave stuff. Uh, you could even get to know the villagers and have relationships with them too. There was just one thing that was a bit weird. Okay. First, wow, what you have so far is incredible, Tara. You think so? Yeah, really, it's incredible. I never thought you could combine farming and being a mecha pilot in the same game, but you did it just fine. Thanks, Seymour, that's nice of you to say. There's just one thing I think that was a little off. What's that? Any feedback would be great. I feel like the relationships with the townspeople were a little weird. The dating aspects didn't really feel right. That's a big complaint about Stardew from a lot of people, is that eventually they say the same lines over and over until you get to certain heart, like, uh, until you get to know them a certain amount, and you just give them the same gifts over and over, and they fall in love with you. Uh, it would be cool if it was a little bit more difficult, or you had extra quests to do for them, I think. That'd be pretty cool. Rudy is snoring really loud. Uh, I knew you'd notice that. It's kind of embarrassing, but I've never actually dated before, so I have no idea what it's really like. See, I'm with Tara on that one, but it's like, she's also so weird. And to be honest, I've never really had a real friend either. Oh no, Tara's becoming the most relatable. <laughs> oh, that and Stardew Valley, like damn it. If it's not too much to ask, her voice suddenly reduced to a whisper. Maybe you and I could be friends. <laughs> I mean, I already promised Scarlet I'd be her friend forever no matter what happens, so I mean, definitely. I'd be honored to be your friend. Aw. That said, please don't trap me in a video game again. Sorry, what? Yeah, she can't remember because she effed her brain up with it. Anyway, watching you play gave me some ideas. Want to help me with testing them? Sure, I'd be happy to help however I can. We'd both suggest ideas, she'd implement it, and we'd test it together and repeat. It just kept getting better and better. Tara's smile and enthusiasm was contagious. I couldn't help but be excited for her and in awe of her drive. We spent the rest of the day working on her game, but it only felt like minutes. 
I'm just glad it wasn't another virtual reality game. That was a nice date. Like, her first one was so weird. And then that one was, like, one of my favorites so far. You literally just played Stardew Valley and made it better and better. Like, okay, yeah, that's great. Like, I would absolutely... Please let my first date with someone be that. <laughs> and feeling a bit, a little bit of the late night munchies, guess I'll go head downstairs. Again, this time around, it's a lot less of Cat meeting us and us, like, stumbling across her because we decided to go do something. I walk to the kitchen and open the fridge. Sweet! There's some leftover cookies that Violet and I had made together. I grabbed a few and wolfed them down. Delicious. Mmm. Yeah! Yeah! Um, have you ever had something delicious and then go, yeah! No way! Got a case of the midnight munchies? I figured I'd do my civil duty and help finish the cookies Violet and I made. Right. Only a good Samaritan would finish all the cookies so no one else would have to make that sacrifice. I'm just too good of a person, I know. It gets me in trouble sometimes. Well, yeah, like telling every girl that you love them and would be with them forever. Anyway, I've been meaning to talk with you. What's up? How'd your date with Tara today go? There's no way this up the ratings compared to Violet and Allie's this week or this time. Uh, again, we're gonna say awesome because it's a date that I would want to go on. It was great, I have to admit. Tara's very different from my initial impression. Well, especially after that first date, man. I feel like I'm seeing the real her now, and I like what I see. I like the sound of that. Who would have thought you'd say something like this after your unique first day? I know, right? I was like, man, I'm really liking Tara again now. Life sure is funny. Life sure is funny. Well, that should be enough footage for today. Thanks, Seymour. You'll be happy to know that phase two of the plan was a smashing success. Oh, thank goodness. That's great to hear. Thank goodness. No kidding, the love square between Allie, Violet, and Tara has viewers on the edge of their seats. You've actually broken the record for ratings on a killer dating game show. I'm pretty sure we did that the first time. I think. It's not as niche as it sounds! Oh no! Do I get a plaque for that? It's gotta count for something somewhere. We don't have it printed yet, but I prepared your tombstone in advance if you're looking for a souvenir. Thanks for the vote of confidence, cat. Let it never be said that I am anything but supportive. Anyway, we're on to phase three. It's pretty much the same as phase two, except with third dates this time. Yes. And one caveat. Oh no. What's that, cat? I'm sure you've got a favorite in mind between Allie, Violet, and Tara. If you want to maximize your chances of getting out of here alive, save the best for last. That's what I was considering it in, in initially, right? I was like, oh, I kind of like Tara. I'll save her for last. And then at first I was like, oh, I don't know about Tara. And now I'm like, hey, I still kind of like Tara. So it gives audiences something to look forward to. Damn, okay. I will say, Allie's boat date was also really good. I like Allie more than I thought I would for sure. I, I, I think I might keep the order I've been doing it in. I think I might keep... Tara for last, like I originally planned after that second date, which is kind of shocks me. I was kind of like, oh man, should I switch it to somebody else? Okay, she didn't tell me to do this the last time, either. She didn't say, oh, between Scarlet and Yui, who do you like the most? Save them for last. So I didn't. I picked Yui first because I just thought hers would be interesting. And I didn't know that the that Scarlet was going to go haywire at the end. So, okay. Gives audiences something looks forward to. Okay. Sound good to you? Makes sense to me. Good. That's all for today. I'll see you later. Night, Seymour. Good night, cat. And th mm, thanks for the help till now, cat. I realize I'd probably be screwed without you. Damn it. No! Don't thank me yet. Oh, God. When she was drunk, she seemed, in the last episode when she got drunk, she seemed to actually care about hurting us in the situation that we're in. But then why is she here and why is she helping with it unless she's also under, like, penalty of death or something. Or her family is or something. So I, we need to know Kat's whole backstory. Guess I'll call it a night. I walk back to my room. Okay, here's a dream. Time to get some shut eye. So what's this supposed to do? Oh, it's Scarlet! Shit, has it been Scarlet all this time? Or are we seeing, again, is it flashbacks or flash forwards of all the girls? Because sometimes it sounds like one girl and then another in our head. Oh, man. It's only a prototype, but technical details aside, you can think of it as a memory rewriter. So it rewrites memory. Oh, my gosh, Seymour, why are you so dumb? Pretty much. Think of it like a surgeon's scalpel. 
With it, you can make someone forget things as big as who they are, or something as small as a specific conversation. So if you use this on someone, anything's fair game. You could erase anything you wanted. Exactly. Oh, crap. Well, maybe it's not really a scalpel since it comes with a reset button. It's sad, though. This was supposed to help people after the WAR! No! I was supposed to help people after the war! She did say that! You Please don't tell me that Damien or whoever stole Scarlet's, like, biggest, most important thing that was gonna help the lives of everyone after the war and used it for this crazy game show instead. Please don't tell me this is Scarlet's actual tool that she was gonna use and they just stole it and did all this with it. Including to her. That's- that's messed up if it is. God. I'm sorry, Scarlet. Don't worry about it. I may not be able to help them, but... It doesn't mean I can't help you and your partner escape from this madness! So I'm picking somebody else! Oh, so it's not Scarlet! That- that- that I- that I boat with. No! Okay, like, I'm not saying that I would have picked Scarlet. I would have picked Yui over Scarlet, right? But that means in these dreams, it has not been her, is what it's confirming. Oh my gosh! Thank you, really. Thank you so much. I know you're taking an incredible risk for us that honestly most people would never. Don't mention it, Seymour. It's what I do. Scarlet's such a good person! Cause she's like, I was supposed to help people after the war and oh my gosh. Oh, she better not die in the end. It better be like, oh you escaped, but Scarlet got her throat cut. Like, oh my god. If they manage to trace it back to me, then I'll accept whatever comes. Scarlet might be the real hero of this game now that we're looking at it this way. Damn. <clears throat> It'd be the first time I helped somebody in quite some time, but she was helping everyone! Like, oh my god, Scarlet. The boat is just past the woods, behind the rocky enclave near the beach. It won't be there forever, so act quickly. So Scarlet's our guy in the chair! No! Poor Scarlet! So Scarlet... I, let's assume the girl we're going to leave with is either Cat or one of the other girls. So then the girl's left behind, like, whether it's Cat and the other girls or just the other girls, whatever. Are they just left there to die? Are they left there to get a new bachelor in and be like, well, now we have to restart? Like, what's going to happen to them? It'd be suicide to go for it during the day. I recommend heading there near midnight. Thank you, Scarlet. You sure you don't want to come with us? Someone has to stay here to help the people that fall in this spider's web. Can we play another game as Scarlet? Like, oh my gosh. You don't have to be so noble. I envy her, you know. To get to leave this place with you! My heart is breaking. But someone needs to stay here to do what's right. Oh my gosh. It makes me wish that I could have married Scarlet. Damn it. If you play it differently and Scarlet's one of your last three, I assume that happens regardless. But man, that's effed up! No! Oh, this game is good, man. The girls and I kicked off our morning by testing out Tara's game together. It was multiplayer now, so we can all play together in the same world. This came with its own fresh air of consequences. I said, cover me, or you'll have to finish making dinner yourself. I'm trying, I'm trying! There's just too many mutant vegetables attacking! Yui, I need you to cover me! Where are you? I'm sorry, it's the bear's birthday and I can't decide which berry to give him! It can wait! But then I won't get bonus points! The bonus heart points. Come to think of it, I think we're running low on tomatoes and carrots. Do you need any, Violet? We have enough to survive the winter, but more supplies are always welcome. I'm on it. Well, the game's definitely gotten more exciting. I wanted for them to test the relationships, but maybe they'll have to wait a bit. I guess we'll see next time? Yeah, next time. I can't wait. We spent the rest of the morning playing Terra's game. That's a fun opening. Alright, morning, Seymour. Let's kick off phase three. I don't want to kick off phase three! I want to, I want to help Scarlet. I'm so sad. Hopefully we can wrap this up quickly and you'll be back to your old life soon.
I better be. We don't even know where our life was. As nice as this island is, it's a gilded cage. Oh, God. You'll be able to go back to your old life soon. That's a promise. I don't know if I want that promise, man. Well, unless you make a mess out of your next three dates, I can't help you there. But assuming you do, you'll get to leave here with one of Allie, Violet, or Tara. But first, it's time to pick which of them you'll be going on a third date with today. Who's it going to be? We're going to keep the same pattern. We're going to still go with Allie. To be honest, I'm not sure if your dates with Allie are really dates or more of just trying different kinds of transportation. Oh, haha, ha, so funny. But hey, whatever floats your boat. Let's get those cameras rolling. Oh boy. I'm just, oh, I just want to get to the dreams! <laughs> Back on the beach. I found Allie by the beach. Or more accurately, she came running to me. You are not going to believe this, Seymour. What's that? All right. Who? Oh, no, cat. All right, who took my keys? You've got ten seconds before I take it out of four's paycheck. Oh, no. Oh, come on. Uh, we'll walk and talk. Come on, Allie, what did you steal keys to? Well, let's walk. Maybe run like hell. Four's not going to be happy when he finds out that I... Eh, whatever. Come on, let's go. Oh, the nice forest again. She grabbed my hand and pulled me with her into the forest clearing nearby. What's going on? You're not going to believe what I just found. What's that? Well, I was wondering how to top the two previous dates when I stumbled upon... Ah, oh, wait a minute. It's better if I surprise you. I'm gonna have to close my eyes again, right? I love how fast you learn things, Seymour. She was singing as she covered my eyes with one hand... Oh, as she covered my eyes with one hand and pulled me along with the other. She pulled me along step by step. I can't say I wasn't enjoying... Again, he's really flirty with Allie compared to the other two, I feel like. Is this... A staircase? It feels like metal bathing. Oh, Allie, what did you do? What did you find? In the middle of a forest? Just a bit more now. All right. Oh, I'm scared. You can open your eyes now. <gasps> the plane! Oh, no! Allie! Allie gonna be the first to die! Oh, no! How on earth? We were inside a small plane, the very same one I've been rudely awakened in my first day here. How did you even... It was just sitting in the forest, so I thought, why not, right? Oh, Allie, you're gonna get us all killed! I have so many questions. Wait a minute, are you planning on... Without even bothering to answer me, Allie rushed to the cockpit. Oh, cause she has key... But there's no way that she was... That cat was the pilot, right? Oh, crap. Here's to hoping this goes better than the rollerblades. No! Huh, I wonder what this big red button does. Oh god, get me out of here. I ran for the door, but it was already shut tight. And away we go! Oh my gosh, this is insane. The engine of the plane roared as we took off. Did not see this coming either. I slammed into the side of the door. Sit down! <laughs> Oof. Come on, be honest. You were thinking the same thing. Uh... You put a big juicy red button there, completely unattended, and you expect a good citizen like me to not press it? You're bonkers. You've got a point, but do you have any idea how to fly this thing? Wait a minute, if you're talking to me here, then who's flying the plane? Technically nobody, but does it have autopilot? Crash! Oh gosh, the right wing of the plane smashed into a tree. We hit it hard enough for it to be slightly deformed. Ollie, you friggin' idiot. She had the keys. She knew it was to the plane. Why would not- why would you not get the other girls and run and fly away? Unless they siphon the gas of the plane or something. Why would you not just use it to escape with everybody alive? Oh, Allie, you idiot. Oh, man. Oof. I slammed into the wall yet again. Ugh, well, we didn't need that wing anyway. We still have the other one. Exactly like kidneys! Forget killer dating death shows. Forget Damien and Cat. Allie was going to be the death of me. I tried to run to the cockpit, but it was all I could do to stay upright as the plane teetered back and forth. I'm just kidding. I've got this. Allie ran to the cockpit without breaking a sweat. Meanwhile, I did my best impression of a ball in a pinball machine. Alright, I got this. The plane seemed to stabilize in a matter of seconds. Oh, thank God. I thought we were really gonna crash. Oh, gosh. Oops. Once again, the right wing of the plane smashed into a tree. Somehow it was bent back to its original shape. Okay, so you can still save everyone. 
Not so bad if I do say so myself. Just fly away! Fly away with me! Alright, that was dumb luck and you know it. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for. We started gaining altitude, slowly at first, then faster and faster, higher and higher. Oh my gosh, Allie, why? Before long we were soaring high above the trees. Allie yelled out in triumph. Woo! I joined it and yelled out with glee. Not terror? Okay. It's a pretty great feeling, huh? Not dying in a fiery plane crash? Flying free! Without it, what's the point of living? You talking about freedom or flying? Ah, why not both? That said, there's another reason I flew us up here. What's that, Allie? This is the only place I could find on the island that wasn't bugged! No one can eavesdrop on us here. Shit! No! Oh my gosh. So we're not on camera right now? And, like, they can't track us right now? Is that what she's saying? And sorry for the turbulence, but without it, they might have heard me disable the bugs in here. So she did the crashes stuff on purpose to, so she could disable the bugs without them noticing. Oh my gosh! Allie! Are the girls setting up an escape for me and one of the other girls? Like, Allie is, like, the tech... Like, it took it out for the plane, and then Scarlet's, like, our tech person. Oh my gosh. Believe me, I looked for a safe place as hard as I could. That's why I got the rollerblades in the boat earlier. To find a safe place to talk as fast as possible. Allie, oh my gosh! I'm guessing you know what the show's really about then. Holy cow! So what happens... If you date Allie first, does this still happen? And then you get the amnesia again, it's reset, and then you don't date Allie this second time. Or does it only happen if you date Allie during the second round? Oh my gosh. Unfortunately, yeah. What a bummer, am I right? Unfortunately, I don't think you do. And I can't risk r telling you everything either. No! Please tell me what else is going on! What else is happening, Allie? Please! What? Why? Believe me, you're better off not knowing. Allie, please! What? Allie, what are you hiding? Who are you really? Look, we don't have too much time before we'll have to land, and this thing's already almost out of fuel. I knew they would have siphoned the gas or some shit. Sure enough, we'd already started descending. Oh, Allie, please! Talk faster! Please just trust me. I'm on your side, Seymour. I know there's so many lies going on around here, but I really want to help you get out of here. Uh, though I have to admit it wasn't on my to-do list at first. I don't care, Allie! It's a good thing you're so cute. Great, Allie, please help me! I'm kidding, jeez. Do you trust me? Yes. I, I have to. Like, I can't not... Especially if that dream of Scarlet. Yes. Of course I do, Allie. You know that. You won't regret it. I promise. So what can you tell me? There's no time. Long story short, there's something on this island I need to find that the people I work with need. Are all the girls... Were all the girls trying to help post-war? It's life or death. Not for just you and me, but for countless others. I came here to save you all, and I won't give up till I have. So... All the girls ended up on this show, and they're like, who would, t who, why would my father send me here? Why would anyone join a show like this? Did they all volunteer or have other people sign them up, let's say, because they knew what it really was to save us? Man, I'm, oh my gosh, okay. Though at this point I've done all I can, it's in his hands now. Who's this he? No time to talk, we're almost back in range of the island's recording network. <laughs> No matter what, don't tell anybody what happened here. Not even a little bit. Not even if you think you can trust them, are we clear? Crystal. The plane flew lower and lower. Oh my gosh! Alright, we're about to be back in the recording zone. Uh, what else? What else? Ah! Don't do anything I wouldn't do. That really doesn't limit it much. I guess not. Oh my gosh. After we landed, Kat scolded us for taking the plane. Kat and Allie seemed to exchange more than a few uneasy glances as we got off the plane. Is Cadden on it too? I ugh. But luckily nothing came out of it. Next, the production staff separated Allie and I. It looks like Cat had arranged something special for the two of us. All I was told was that I wasn't allowed to see Allie until evening. Apparently that's the nicest time to film. Oh my gosh, please don't like torture her and hurt her. Till then the production team helped me to look the part of a romantic novel protagonist. I was dressed to the nines. I must have sat there a few hundred photo shoots and interviews before they told me it was time to see her. That's weird, because they didn't set up 
the dates, the third dates, the last time was something super fancy. You and I just walked to the beach, and Scarlett and I went to, like, the, the ocean-y restaurant area, but I took her there, so it wasn't, like, planned by cat or anything. We weren't, like, dressed up. So we're back in the restaurant, though, but it was worth it. Wow, even for this island, this place is can fancy with a capital F. Tell me about a broken plate here and I have to pay for the rest of my life. But, 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 Violet, I guess there's two ways you see this first. Okay, whatever. Uh, I mean, uh, welcome to the Ocean Palace. Allow me to show you your seat. Two gestured at me to follow him. We'd only taken a few steps when I saw her, and when I did, I couldn't help but crack up. You know, I kind of expected you to be dressed up too, because given all the shit the crew put me through, so she's just wearing her normal clothes. What's the point? I'd just get it ruined. How would it get ruined? Oh, you'll see. Come on. Oh, no. She reached for my hand. I put mine in hers with a smile on my face. She pulled me along with her toward the door. Whoa! We stumbled against a table, which knocked a plate onto the floor. It probably shattered into a million pieces. In case you were watching, Cat, that was too. I knew I should have just been an accountant. She laughed as she pulled me along with her to the outside. The night air never tasted so fresh. Each breath for air as we ran along the road made my worries and fears just disappear. Eventually, we ran all the way to the beach. Come on! She tightened her hand and pulled me along with her to the water. Wait, just a... She laughed like a maniac as she cannonballed us into the ocean. My first instinct was to swim back up to the surface, but then Allie put her hands against my face and looked deep into my eyes. She smiled and then kissed me passionately. Allie, after the afternoon we just went through, and I'm in a tux underwater now, this is not the time. Like, I, we need like we need to get out of here. You told me there's some bad, bad stuff going down. Oh, please just tell me what it is. It was as if time had stopped. A few moments later, we went back up to the surface. I figure you could use a fun distraction from everything that happened earlier. Oh my gosh, Ellie! Was she doing this for me? I don't know, man. I never know what to expect with you, you know? Unless she did that to him. So out in the ocean, he's all just up, but now his mic won't work? So maybe now because they're all wet? I don't know. Oh man, uh, I never know what to do with you and you never will. It was night to remember. Okay, so I think... It said it wasn't enough to remember, but I didn't say we did anything else like that. Um, just that she made me forget about the other stuff, so it was a night to remember, like, play on words. So I think Yui is still the only one that implies we went, you know, all the way with... I think that's what that implied, at least. Just like that, that's my last date with Allie. Time sure goes by quickly. Oh my gosh. I thought I'd find you here. Why is that? You tend to come out here when you're lost and... Excuse me. You tend to come out here when you're lost in thought, is all. You're thinking about how the show's almost over, am I right? How'd you know? Lucky guess. Well, it's not over yet, so don't let up just yet. Speaking of which, how was your day with Allie today? Uh, awesome. I probably shouldn't tell her the whole truth, but enough of it should be good. It was awesome. I don't know how, but the more time I spend with Allie, the better it gets. Being married to her would make every day an adventure, and I like the sound of that. I'm sure it'd be an adventure, but the jury's out on if it's one you'd walk away from. But I can see she makes you happy. Really, that counts for a lot nowadays. Though you might want to start wearing body armor if you want it to stay that way. Anyway, I'd ask if you're thinking of choosing her at the end, but I'd rather wait and see how it plays out. You going to stay out here for long? Nah, I'll probably be going back inside soon. I'll keep you company till then. Okay. I figure you might want to have a conversation with someone that won't get you killed if it's not TV worthy. Eh. Thanks, Cat. Don't mention it. You know, I'm curious, Cat. What's up? Let's say I knew I was screwed. There was no way of me getting out of here alive. Oh boy. The only way left for me to survive was just to run. Would you let me escape? Oh no. Why would you ask this near the end, Seymour? What is wrong with you? Of course, Seymour. Nope, that's a lie! Thanks, Kat. That means a lot. I don't believe her. I don't believe her at all. It's no big deal. It's no big deal. It's no big deal. Yeah, no big deal. We stayed out for a little longer before we called it a night. 
I'm lucky I have someone I can trust on my side. You have Allie, you don't need her. Okay, well. Wait a minute, so we didn't have a dream. What? We didn't have a dream? Okay, hang on. We gotta keep going for just a minute. Huh, well this isn't the worst place I thought I could wake up yesterday. I'll take that as a compliment? She laughed and pinched my cheek. Well, it's been a blast, Seymour. I have some more cruising around to do, and I think you've got another date on your plate today. So with her and with Yui ending up in my bed, did we do anything, or were they just tired and passed out? Yeah, that's just how the show goes. Sorry. She was gone before I even had a chance to finish. That woman is a force of nature. Wow, okay. So no dream! Nothing! Okay. Shoot, so we had that thing with Scarlet and then nothing. They're like, here's a big piece of lore. Now you get nothing. Good day, sir. You lose. Good day, sir. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, we'll stop there. Oh my lordy. That was a really good one, man. That was a really good episode because of the Scarlet stuff. Allie being in on something, trying to help us. That was another great That's the thing. There'll be an episode or two. Where it's nice, it's fun, but it's a little bit slower as you're going on the dates, just getting to know the girls, you know, playing Star Blue Valley, all that. You're like, okay. And then all of a sudden it's like, you need to get off the island now and I'm here to save you. It's like, oh my gosh. Okay. Thank you so much for watching and joining me here on Face Take on Gaming. If you enjoyed this episode, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. It really helps me out. Links to my Twitch channel, my Discord, my other YouTube channel, etc. All down below. Uh, my Patreon. Thank you so much to my Patreon supporters, including, but not limited to, Jackie Ball, Kevin Nata, and Isabella Summit that is also available up there if you would be interested in that. So please, if you haven't checked out this whole series yet, or my Phoenix Wright series, please do that. Those are probably my two favorites we've been doing so far. And uh, yeah, next time we'll see you, it'll be episode 8, I think, and our last two third dates. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.